What is this? It is a good question that we get a lot. Uh, manned drone is a thing that I like to use mostly because it's it, it describes it, but it's also, you know, what is a manned drone? Can a drone be manned? Um, but technically this is an electric vertical takeoff and landing, an eVTOL, okay, aircraft. It falls into the ultralight classification, okay, so this is compliant with part 103, and uh, it is essentially a gigantic drone that you can sit in and pilot from on board. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. So it is all electric, okay? Um, 18 independent motors. Each one is powered by its own battery, okay? Three flight computers, so it's a triply redundant flight control system. Um, and right now we're getting around eight to 10 minutes of flight time with a passenger on board, okay? Obviously this can actually be flown as a drone as well, so we can do that. In that eight to 10 minutes, uh, you're looking at traveling right now in our beginner mode. So this is what most people are coming to and flying with us right now, is about five miles an hour, okay? We keep you in a pretty tight area. The aircraft is capable of doing a lot more than that, but we haven't flown it all the way out to the edge of its envelope yet. Um, in order to make ultralight weight, this is made almost entirely out of carbon fiber and 3D printed titanium. All sorts of really interesting stuff goes into making this thing compliant with ultralight. This aircraft weighs, with its batteries on, which you don't see here right now, 464 pounds. That's less than a motorcycle. One of my favorite things to do when I'm flying is to show off what it's capable of. And for me, to the average person, it simply means taking my hands off of the controls. Because if you do that, you can wave to the crowd, give them the two-handed wave, and the aircraft just holds a hover for you. So it's autonomous in hover holding. Even when the wind comes along, it will hold position for you with hands off. So I love to wave to the crowd doing that during a demonstration. Automatic takeoff and landing. Again, you can press a button and wave at the crowd. So that's always my favorite thing to do when I'm flying around just for fun. Some maneuvers that are really complicated to execute in a helicopter uh, become really simple to do because of the, the flight controls on board this. So doing backwards rotation, rotating flight, things like that. Um, it's really fun to demonstrate those and uh, just really highlights the uniqueness of the aircraft. So that's one of my favorite flight maneuvers. Basically anybody could just jump in and fly this. Under ultralight regulations, of course, you don't need a pilot's license. Um, but what happens at Lift Aircraft is you sign up, you book at our website, liftaircraft.com. You can buy tickets to fly in Austin today. So when you come to our, our location, you have 30 minutes of classroom training where we inform you about ultralight regulations, what you're getting into, okay? Uh, we teach you how the aircraft operates, what you need to know to operate the aircraft. Then we put you in a VR simulation. So you put on some VR goggles, and you practice what you're about to do. So you're gonna execute a sequence of maneuvers under direction of a, an instructor who's on the ground. And then if you go through all those maneuvers, you get some free play, okay? So you get to, it's time to play by yourself. So that's what a flight experience with Lyft Aircraft looks like. It was built to serve this market, this recreational market that exists because of the ultralight regulations that exist today, okay? For future, we're hoping that the regulations will continue to evolve to allow for these kind of aircraft to serve as transportation modes, okay? Under this unlicensed program. So right now, you can go and get a Lime scooter in a, in a downtown area and move from point A to point B, no license required. That's what we want this future to be like for this aircraft. So. Some things lie ahead of us in terms of like one performance and things like that that the aircraft needs to be able to achieve, but also a lot of regulatory stuff.